we are back with another video and in this video we are going to discuss in this salesforce integration for woocommerce plugin how the woocommerce merchants can easily create the fields and map the fields correctly so that the so that all the data is synced over salesforce correctly so let us see how we can create the new field like these are default fields account feed contact feed product feed price book entry feed opportunity feed order feed order item feeds and if the WooCommerce merchants wants to add more feed, so from here you can click on this add feed and here you can decide the name of the feed. So I am giving the name as test feed and here these, uh, this is the feed details where the admin can select the object like here uh, he can select abandoned cart, account, account contact, role, account share and various other objects uh, which he wants to sync. So from here let us select any object. So let, let's suppose I have selected account. Now the second step is to select the event. So for the event here he can select for order, users or product and fields also. So according to the event he has to map the fields accordingly like I have selected for order. So I, have, I will go to map fields and here you can see that this is the field of salesforce and here the admin needs to map with the WooCommerce values. So here we have provided two options field type like standard value and custom value custom value means he can provide the custom name and map the fee, uh, map the values accordingly as per his requirements like let's suppose uh, this will be fixed and this is dynamic string so that will change according to the billing email of the customers uh, this is how you need to map the fields so this is account phone and here the admin needs to map the field value so here we have selected the event for order so we need to find the field value that lies in the shop order section so here this is the shop order section and here we need to map with this billing phone and if the admin maps the value other than uh, shop order like uh, in the user section or product section so the syncing will not be done properly so this is how the admin has to admin or woocommerce merchants has to keep in mind that whatever the event that has been selected so according to that the mapping has to be done and the field value has to be selected from that particular section and if i want to add the new field so from here i will click on this and let me select any option like i have selected account type let me click on add field so basically we have provided this uh, option or we have provided this uh, new field so that if the admin or the WooCommerce merchants uh, wants to sync the account type data over Salesforce. So here we have provided pick list values like prospect, customer, direct uh, prospect, customer, customer channel, installation partner, technology partner and other. So basically that means here uh, we need to select the custom value and here we can give the custom value as like I have written WPS dash and here I need to select the values from this only otherwise if I will select any other values so it will uh, it will show the error because it is a pick it is a type of pick list values so let me select any uh, like this I want to sync this over salesforce in this account type so I will write like this so this is how you have to map the account type uh, with the help of custom value and you have to select the pick list values from here now when you have done all these things so you need to click on publish and now to check this feed if it is working correctly or not so let us go to order section to test it and here let us select any order and here let's scroll down and here let's select the feed that we have created that is test feed and let us click on sync manually so the process has been completed so let us click on this salesforce feed to check if the data synced over salesforce over salesforce correctly or not so here as you can see that uh, we have selected the account type as like this so it is coming over salesforce very correctly and when i will go back here and let me check the logs so here this is the test feed that we have synced manually from the order section so here the name has come like this like this was fixed uh, fixed value and this was dynamic uh, so this will be synced as per the customer email and here this is the phone and here type we have selected WPS customer channel so it is coming here and this is the salesforce object id and salesforce object so this is how the admin can easily create the fields and add the new field and map the fields accordingly as per the feed event 
The links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description. You can check and get all the details. If you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality, so you can mention your queries in the comment section. Till the next video, stay tuned. Thank you.